tonight on the embattled chief of staff for Mayor de Blasio's wife, Rachel Nordlinger, announced today she will take an unpaid leave of absence. As CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer reports, the mayor says Nordlinger is the victim of a smear campaign. For two months, the steady drip, drip, drip of scandal engulfed First Lady Shirlene McRae's chief of staff, Rachel Nordlinger. From having a live-in boyfriend who did time for manslaughter to non-payment of taxes, tickets, and easy pass bills, yet the mayor painted her as a victim. We saw this in uh, the 1950s. If someone uh, wants to smear people and use that for political purposes, there's a pretty easy playbook for doing it. It's repulsive but it's become quite common. The mayor has steadfastly supported Nordlinger, who worked for the Reverend Al Sharpton before working for the First Lady. He was unmoved by her failure to disclose she lived with convicted felon Hassan McFarlane, unmoved that she failed to disclose she owed the IRS $28,000, had $7,000 in unpaid easy pass tolls, and $900 in unpaid parking tickets. So I think something's gone wrong here, the notion that uh, somehow in modern society, uh, not just your own actions, but you know your girlfriend or boyfriend, your own teenage child somehow, all of this is a uh, fair game in the public discourse. Nordlinger took an unpaid leave of absence after her 17-year-old son, Kari, was arrested Friday for criminal trespass. I can handle criticism and scrutiny of me, Nordlinger said, but increasingly, my son has been subjected to attacks that have nothing to do with the public interest and everything to do with derailing this administration. I do not want to be a distraction. The work at hand is far too urgent. But the strident anti-cop bias of Nordlinger's boyfriend he attacked cops on social media, caused problems with police. Patrolman's Benevolent Association President Patrick Lynch said that if City Hall replaces Nordlinger, we hope they can find someone who appreciates the critical role that police have in making this city a viable place to live and who will not bring an anti-police bias to the table. Well, several statements of support for Nordlinger were issued by members of the African-American community. The Reverend Al Sharpton's message, quote, don't let outrageous smear deter you from your goals. Nordlinger's position will be filled by someone else, but the mayor says she will be able to return to the administration in the future if she wants. If she wants. We'll be watching. Thanks, Marsha.